Greetings everyone, welcome back to our channel where we dive deep into the biggest stories making waves in pop culture, entertainment, and beyond. Today, we've got a bombshell story that's been swirling all over the headlines, one that involves none other than the music mogul Sean, Diddy, Combs. You've probably seen the headlines. A Michigan inmate has been awarded a massive $100 million default judgment against Diddy. Yes, you heard that right. But what's really going on here? Is Diddy caught up in yet another scandal? Or is this case more complicated than it seems? Today, we're going to break down all the details of this bizarre case, the allegations that led to this massive judgment, and what it could mean for Diddy moving forward. Trust me, you don't want to miss this one. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for all the latest updates on your favorite celebrities and breaking news. Let's start by breaking down the key details. In June 2023, Derek Lee Cardello Smith, a 51-year-old inmate currently serving time in a Michigan prison, filed a lawsuit against Diddy, alleging that the music mogul drugged and sexually assaulted him back in 1997. Cardello Smith claimed that the incident occurred when he was working as a bartender at a Detroit-area restaurant and was invited to an after-party hosted by Diddy at a Holiday Inn. According to the lawsuit, Cardello Smith alleged that at the party, Diddy groped his buttocks while he was engaged in a sexual act with a woman. Cardello Smith further claimed that after Diddy handed him a glass of alcohol, he passed out, and when he later regained consciousness, he saw Diddy having sex with a woman, with Diddy allegedly telling Cardello Smith, I did this to you, too. Cardello Smith, who is representing himself in the case, filed the lawsuit in June 2023, seeking $100 million in damages. When Diddy failed to respond to the lawsuit, a Lenawee County Circuit Court judge ruled in Cardello Smith's favor, issuing a default judgment ordering Diddy to pay the $100 million. So, how did we get to a $100 million judgment? Well, this is where things get really interesting. A default judgment is essentially what happens when one party, usually the defendant, fails to appear in court or respond to a lawsuit. In this case, Diddy and his legal team did not respond to the lawsuit, which led the court to rule in favor of Juma by default. Now, you might think, how could Diddy, one of the most well-known and successful figures in the entertainment industry, just ignore a lawsuit that could cost him $100 million? Well, there are a few possible explanations for this. One theory is that Diddy and his legal team may have dismissed the lawsuit as frivolous. It's not uncommon for high-profile celebrities to be hit with lawsuits from people looking for a big payday. Some legal experts have speculated that Diddy's team may have thought the case would be thrown out or simply didn't take it seriously enough to respond. Another possibility is that Diddy wasn't even aware of the lawsuit. Sometimes, legal notices don't reach the intended party, especially when we're talking about busy celebrities with layers of management, lawyers, and personal staff handling their affairs. However, it's hard to say for sure what happened behind the scenes. So, let's talk about the big number here, $100 million. That's a staggering amount of money for a default judgment in a civil case like this. Typically, in cases of assault or emotional distress, the damages awarded are based on the severity of the injury, the financial situation of both parties, and other factors like lost wages or medical expenses. Now, what about Diddy? So far, there hasn't been much public comment from his camp regarding this case. But we can make some educated guesses about what might happen next. First, Diddy's legal team could argue that they were never properly notified of the lawsuit. If they can prove this, the default judgment could potentially be vacated, and the case would have to be relitigated from scratch. That would give Diddy a chance to actually fight the claims in court, which could drastically change the outcome. Another option would be to negotiate a settlement. Even though the default judgment is for $100 million, it's not uncommon for celebrities to settle these types of cases for a lower amount to avoid the hassle and negative publicity of a drawn-out court battle. A settlement could be in the realm of a few hundred thousand or even a couple of million dollars, but definitely not the full $100 million. However, this story doesn't end there. Just days after the default judgment was announced, Diddy's legal team sprang into action, filing an emergency motion to vacate the judgment. In their 83-page filing, Diddy's attorneys argued that the default judgment is invalid because Diddy was never properly served with the lawsuit and only learned about it after the judgment was reported in the media. 
Diddy's legal team asked to dismiss Cardello Smith's allegations as objectively unbelievable, stating that the complaint provides a narrative that is impossible to follow. They further highlighted Cardello Smith's extensive criminal history, which includes numerous convictions for sexual assault and kidnapping. In addition to the motion to vacate the judgment, Diddy's legal team also filed a request to dissolve the temporary restraining order that Cardello Smith had obtained against the rapper. It's worth noting that Cardello Smith is no stranger to the legal system. According to reports, he has been a named plaintiff in more than 30 civil lawsuits from 2020 to 2024 some of which have involved prisoner rights. His criminal record includes convictions for criminal sexual conduct and kidnapping, with his most recent sentence calling for 17.5 to 35 years in prison. Diddy's attorneys have seized on Cardello Smith's background, describing him as a convicted felon and sexual predator who has a long history of challenging the judicial system with civil lawsuits. They argue that his latest lawsuit against Diddy is nothing more than a fraud on the court, so, what happens now? Well, it's safe to say that this case is far from over. Diddy and his legal team will likely take steps to either challenge the default judgment or reduce the amount of damages awarded. Meanwhile, we'll continue to push for his side of the story to be heard. This case also raises some interesting questions about the legal system, especially when it comes to default judgments. How can someone win such a massive sum of money without the defendant ever stepping foot in court? And what does this mean for other high-profile celebrities who are constantly fielding lawsuits from all directions? In conclusion, this case involving Diddy and the Michigan inmate is a complex and evolving legal saga that has captivated the public. With Diddy's team working to have the $100 million judgment dismissed in the broader context of the rapper's legal troubles, it's clear that this story is far from over. We'll continue to monitor the developments and provide updates as they unfold. We'll be keeping a close eye on this case as it develops, and you can bet we'll update you with any new information as it comes in. So, what do you guys think? Is this just another case of a celebrity getting hit with a frivolous lawsuit? Or is there more to this claims than meets the eye? And do you think Diddy's legal team dropped the ball by letting this go to a default judgment? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and let's get the conversation going. As always, if you enjoyed this breakdown and want to stay updated on everything going on in the world of entertainment, make sure to like this video, hit that subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so you never miss a story. I'll see you next time.